Again, a lot of attention. Yeah, he's getting all <laughs> kinds of attention out there. But we start with our Olympic specialist, Alex Cabrera, live in Tokyo this evening. And Alex, it's Sunday morning, we understand, from where you're at, which means a University of Utah grad will get her chance to compete later. Her sport, pistol shooting of all things, sounds exciting. Right, absolutely, Dan. And you know what? She was this close to attending BYU, which broke her mother's heart when she decided to go to the University of Utah and instead. We'll get to that story in just a second. But in just a couple of hours, Alexis Lagan's dream will come true. She will compete in the 10-meter pistol event, the air pistol event here in Tokyo, and she will officially become an Olympian. Of all the pictures Alexis Lagan has of herself competing, there's one she hasn't been able to take yet, but soon she will. So I feel really prepared for this Olympics. I feel like this is this is my time to shine. I, I am I'm really ready. Lagan, who was on the U.S. shooting team and competing in Tokyo, began shooting competitively when she attended the University of Utah. However, she only went to the U for its physics program. I never thought about going to the Olympics in any discipline, let alone in shooting. And the University of Utah was kind of my gateway to that. She only joined Utah's marksmanship club to make new friends, since all her other friends from her hometown of Boulder City, Nevada, went to BYU. Lagan was planning on going to BYU, but changed her mind at the last minute, something her BYU-loving family was heartbroken over. My mom is much happier now that I'm Team USA rather than just University of Utah. She has competed in several World Cups and championships around the world, even winning a gold in Mexico at the Championships of the Americas three years ago. However, she knows the Olympics are different. My coach used to tell me there's lots of people that are Olympians. There's only a few people that have really performed their absolute best at the Olympics. Even though families aren't allowed to travel to the games. It was something that they were really looking forward to. It's something that I was really hoping to have is that family connection. Performing her best for this two week stretch is all she's been training for and thinking of. That picture in her mind is about to happen. I know that there's people thinking of me and I know that my Heavenly Father is watching over me and taking care of me. Lagan will also compete in the 25 meter air pistol event this coming Thursday. Again, coming up in a couple hours is the 10 meter event. And if that doesn't make you a fan of hers, just hearing that she's into the sport as much as she is, when she was only 14 years old, she received a letter from the White House congratulating her for singing the national anthem at more than 150 events. So it would be pretty cool if she heard the anthem herself while standing on the podium winning a gold medal. But you know what, Brooke and Dan, no matter what medal she she wins, even if she doesn't win a medal, we are certainly proud of her here in Utah. We certainly are. Great story, Alex and Alex Cabrera. Live